This is a quick video about the new features of RAID Reconstructor and Get Data Back for NTFS. This new feature will shorten the time it takes to do a recovery exponentially. We will go ahead and start RAID Reconstructor as we normally would. In previous recoveries, we would choose smaller drives as examples because of the time it takes to make an image with a large drive. In this example, we will use two 750 gigabyte drives set up as a RAID 0. In previous versions of RAID Reconstructor, this would take 10 to 12 hours to make an image. In the new version, it will take less than 5 minutes. You can see the total size of the array is 1.3 terabytes and that the starting sector is 0. The starting sector is 0 because we have created this array with a controller card, not inside of Windows directly. If you have created your array inside of Windows and it is a RAID 0, please choose 63 as your starting sector. We will now go ahead and analyze this array. We will leave all the defaults on the block sizes, however, because of the size of the drive, we will increase the sectors to probe to 1 million. If you cannot get a recommended entry, please view our other video on reconstructing a 2-drive RAID 0. It goes into more detail as this is just an update on new features. The analysis takes a bit longer because the sectors to probe have been increased. I will take this time to let you know that this video is on our website in high quality. If you cannot find it on our website, please send us an email at support at runtime.org and we can let you know exactly where it is. As you can see, we have our recommended entry. Go ahead and click Finish. This is where the new updates come into play. We have the option to save our drive to a physical disk. You'll need a drive that's at least 1.4 terabytes to do this. Then we have our regular image. This will make an image that is 1.4 terabytes. If you need to break the files into pieces so you can save them in different locations, please be sure to select the multi-file option. We now have the new virtual image function. This is what we will choose. Select the three periods to the right of the empty white space. It will automatically create a file called RAID.VIM and ask to save it in your My Documents folder. If you need to save it in a new location, do so, otherwise press save. The location is now stored in the white space, and now you need to press copy. There it is, finish. To see what's been done, you can press the view button. It is a loop file that tells where the starting sector is and what order the drives are in XML format. We are now finished with RAID Reconstructor. Go ahead and close the program and start Get Data Back for NTFS. Go ahead and choose your recovery scenario and press Next. Below the physical drives, you will see where it says Virtual Images. Click Load More. This will take you to your My Documents folder. Choose the RAID.vim file and then select Open or double click on RAID.vim. This is your selected drive now. Go ahead and press Next to start the recovery. What is now happening is that the Vim is being used to pull the data from the drives directly. You have to keep the drives attached to the computer while the software is running. Since this is a 1.5 terabyte array, it takes a while for it to scan. The true time on this computer is roughly 10 hours. The time remaining is dynamic as well and will change as the working environment changes. This Vim file saved us from creating a 1.5 terabyte image and the extra 10 hours that it would take to make this image. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, email us at support at runtime.org or call us at 775-884-3922 and be sure to check out our data recovery blog. There is a link at the top of our website. Have a nice day.